Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this video, I'm going to show with you guys I picked up the Cremo from Walmart. This is the Cremo's Spicy and Black Vanilla. All right. This is the one I was interested in trying out first. I really didn't know what it smelled like. They got them so you can't open them in Walmart. So, that being said, I really didn't know how to smell, so I just took a shot in the dark, you know, on buying these and seeing what they smell like. Anyway, I did a little testing it out, and uh, it smelled to me. I'll show you guys the sprayer. I don't want to spray too much because it's super strong. To me, uh, it smelled just like Spice Bone. Victor Roth, Victor and Roth Spice Bone. You like spice bomb or something cheaper? Um, this was twenty bucks at Walmart. So you don't want to pay that spice bomb, Victor and Ross price. Get Cremo. Smell almost identical to Victor and Ross spice bomb. That's what I get. This thing is strong too, guys. Don't over apply. I said with this, you go about four sprays with this. Pretty much, you're good. If you do over four sprays, I think you're going to be choking somebody out. That's how strong this is. All right, now starting off, as you can see, uh, it's got like a chrome steel cap. This is a real steel cap that I have. I think, yeah, I think it's chrome steel. No, well, might be plastic, but it looks like steel out on the outer edge in a way. Inside, look plastic. It's got like a chrome itemizer, uh, pretty much um, just a regular chrome. Has the cream old word engraved in the bottle, like as you can see, and it just says spicy and black vanilla. Then you got your code to the bottom there, and pretty much that's about it with this bottle. Um, pretty simple design, you know. It smells super good though. Now, anyway, the notes are it got the notes on the box of these cream old has as you can see, spicy and black vanilla. And it's telling you in the front, it says, Explore virus spicy contrast with a dark woods and tobacco to express a sense of adventure. All right, it's telling you it's a spicy tobacco. You do get a lot of like a cigar, kind of like a, smell kind of like a black and mild cigar or a cherry blend cigar or something like that. Now, the notes are on the boxes. That actually, it's in the top notes, uh, cashmere cardamom and the middle notes are cashmere I hope I'm pronouncing that right cashmere woods and the base notes are vanilla bourbon alright so that's a good thing notes are in the box it said this is have been crafted by some of the finest fragrance house in the world with each scent designed exclusively for the line using only the most premium ingredients Alright, so that being said, this stuff is super, super, super potent, guys. I'm telling you, it's super potent. When I put this on, you get about two to two and a half hours of projection with this one. Uh, longevity, I would say somewhere between eight and maybe ten hours. It's got real good longevity, guys. I don't know what they put in it. Uh, it's super strong. It's, it's got, uh, I just... Been wearing it, just kind of testing it out here, as you can see. And the longevity, like I said, somewhere between eight and maybe ten hours. So it's got super, super longevity. And another thing, you don't want to over apply this because if you do, you're gonna be that guy that got on too much cologne. <laughs> you know, I'll be telling you guys about that. You don't want to over apply certain cologne. This is one of them where you can get away. With a certain amount of sprays, I would say. And um just amazing guys. I like the itemizer. And this is one where you can get away with here. And maybe here like this. It's super strong. This is one you don't want to over apply, especially. Um uh, you gonna be that guy. I'm telling you guys, I'll give y'all my Fair warning, you're going to be the guy that's wearing too much cologne if you do over four sprays. I would say one here, one here, one here, maybe one here, the folds on your arm. That's enough for this fragrance. If you go over four sprays, uh, I would say it'd be too much, too much cologne. 
this thing is fun. I'm talking eight to ten hours of longevity. I don't know if it was this as you got it on, it changes. It, it get more cigarish, spicy tobacco. As long as you got it on, you get a whole lot. It, it get even stronger. Say like this gets stronger as you wear it. So that's why I said four sprays. If you um uh, go over four sprays, you are gonna be wearing too much cologne. I'm telling you guys, this 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 thing super potent. There's other ones. I, I'm gonna get around to trying all of them out. But I want to start off with this one, even though I don't know what any of the rest of them smell like yet. But we we gonna get into it. We're gonna see. These are 20 bucks a pop at Walmart. You get they have four different kinds. This is the first one I'm I tried out. It's the Cremo Spicy Black Vanilla. There's other ones that we're gonna be trying out as well. You know, I just don't know um uh, how the other ones smell. Like I didn't know this one. Now this should have some kind of sample kit in there where you can try them out and see how they smell or whatnot. But they don't have that, you know, so, you know, it, somebody should open up one and just stick it down to the thing where can't nobody really steal it, put a string or something on it. Uh, they should put, a, like, a little tester ball out there. They need to put something out there where people can smell the fragrances and actually, you know, see how they like them. But I might not like my two of them. I might just like this one. You know, it just, I got to try them out. I like this one. It smell like Victor Raw Spice Bun with more. I would say this area has more spicy tobacco in it. This some more spicy tobacco. And if you like smell of tobacco, kind of cigarry like smell, then you'll like this one. Uh, if you like Victor Raw Spice Bun, if you like Spice Bun for a fraction of the price, then you'll like this one again. Uh, to me, this replaces Spice Bun. I got this. And considering the price of Spice Bomb, I wouldn't buy Spice Bomb. I would just buy this. I'm telling you guys, I'm keeping it real. I don't care about collecting no cologne or none of that stuff. If you like the smell of Spice Bomb, but I think it's overpriced, get this. Get this smell almost 95% clone of Spice Bomb. But this one here has a little bit of its own character. I would say this has more tobacco in it. This more spicy tobacco right here. So there you go, guys. If you like I said, if you like spice bomb, but don't want to pay that high, that high price of spice bomb, get this, get cremo. Get cremo spicy black vanilla. All right. This thing is right. I like the baller design as well. I think they cool the way they designed the baller and put the little tag right there. I think that's cool, man. So anyway, I just want to share this with you guys. Uh it's been my review. Uh, spicy and black vanilla by Cremo. I told you guys I'm going to be trying them one at a time. I don't know when I'm going to scoop another one up. I really don't know how they smell. As I get some insight on other ones, uh, how they smell, then I grab another one. You know, I'm just going starting off. I never had Cremo fragrance before, so I'm just starting off with this, so I, I don't know too much about it. Anyway, y'all comment below what y'all think about this one. Smell like spice bomb to me. Hit that subscribe button, and until next time, we'll hit y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.